What's going on guys? Back with another Wizards video. Now, I seen some quotes from this article that Fred Katz wrote in The Athletic and it caught my eye. Now I know Wes Unsell had his introduction press conference and whatnot. He said some good things about Rui. Yes, he said some good things about Denny. Say he talked to Russ and Brad. And I know Wes is known you know, to be a good defensive coach and things like that. And from his co his quotes from this article, I'm extremely excited to see the potential of this offense. I'm excited to see what kind of role Denny Avdia plays. I'm excited to see what kind of role Rui Hachimura plays in Russ and Brad. Now, the couple quotes I've seen from this article says, they spoke about, Kat spoke about, West on sale pitching ways that Bradley Bill could dial back his off the dribble threes because he shot 31% on pull ups from beyond the arc, which was 28 out of 32 players. And West Unsell said, Sure, it's a shot he can make, but we don't want to live and die with those. He said, I think he's going to bail us out many times, but how do we make things easier for him? Getting him off the ball to get it back, putting him in multiple actions to kind of loosen up defenders, I think it's going to be helpful for him. He also spoke about eliminating and, and I quote, trying to take away some of the no pass or one pass possessions. Fred Katz said the Wizards were 27th in passing passes per game. And Unsell said possessions that start poorly usually end poorly, which is facts and which is something us Wizards fans are accustomed to seeing with a Scott Brooks offense. Now, those right there, those quotes were music to my ears. It's what Wizards fans have been asking for for the longest. For the longest. And we could never understand why it was so hard to get that kind of offense within the team under Scott Brooks. You know, it's so refreshing to hear that. You know, I forgot what it sounds like to have logical coaching and, and things like that. It's like when you're in a toxic relationship and you get out of it. And you get with a new guy or girl or whatever. And they treating you right, doing the right things. And you just don't, you forgot how that felt. You forgot what love felt like. You forgot what it felt like to be treated right. Because you're so used to bottom of the barrel garbage and garbage treatment. So when you get something new that comes into your life, like Wes, I mean, it's like the breath of fresh air. It's like I'm in heaven. I mean, we have all been asking for the Wizards to stop the hero ball, especially late. Get uh, so much. Every offense has ISO in it. I understand every every offense technically can be is ISO heavy, etc. I get it, you know. But some more than others. And I mean, we've been asking for guys to get involved, run some plays, do some different things. Stop giving the ball to Russ just to back down people in the paint, on the block, the low block. Stop giving the ball to Brad to just run ISO and pick and rolls and you're hoping just dust all talent alone, they get you a bucket. We've been asking to move the ball around, get some of the other guys involved, Rui, Denny, Garrison Matthews even. Just other guys, get them involved. Let them touch the rock. Let, let, yeah, like what I said. How about we let Brad, you know, he don't got to be on ball all the time. Let's scheme him open. Let's work him open. Let's get him open. Let's run some plays for him. You know, let's let some other guys work to get him open. Do some actions and other things. That's a beautiful thing to hear. Let's emphasize some ball movement here. Let's emphasize... Let's emphasize you know, rotating, getting into new spots, moving them out, running around, not just standing still and watching one guy for majority of the game just ISO my life away. Now, I understand Russ and Brad are the stars. They're going to have the ball majority of the time. That was never the issue. That's just NBA basketball. The issue was it was literally like, 99 or 98% of the offense 
They literally ran like a couple plays for Bertans here, like a couple plays here and there. Other than that, it was just ISO and high pick and rolls and Russ get down there on the block and post up and shoot a fadeaway. It was garbage. Now, I'm excited to see what kind of roles, that's for Brad. What kind of roles will he have for Rui Hachimura? I, I would like to see more from Rui outside of just corner threes or just, I mean, I mean when you give him matchups, when you have, when you see he has a matchup that's favorable, let him, let him do something. Or let's try to run some plays for him to get him mismatched in the post. Let's try to match him up, get him matched up with a smaller guy. Same with Denny. Try to get him in, get some action, run him into some actions. Let's see if he can get matched up with a smaller guy down low. These guys can take advantage of mismatches down there. We've seen it. Let's see if Denny maybe can come off the bench, be a secondary ball handler, run some pick and rolls, set some guys up. You know, get, get people involved. Make people want to be on the court because they know they got an opportunity to make a play either for themselves or for their teammates. You know, who wants to just stand and watch somebody ISO? Granted, that the people who ISO usually are pretty, very good players. But, you always want to feel like you're involved and contributing to the offense. So, I was very happy to hear that from Wes. I mean, guys, when's the last time we've heard a coach talk like that? When? I don't know. I honestly don't know. And it sounds good, so hopefully we can see it in motion when they're on the court in the regular season and they're playing. We see it in action. Make some off-season moves, get a decent roster together. It ain't going to be nothing crazy. I doubt it's going to be anything crazy. Just make some decent, solid moves like, you know, some Daniel Gafford-type, Raul Neto-type moves, some low-key, low-key guys. You know, who? I don't know who may get traded, may not get traded. Who knows? Run a nice little offense. Have a decent personnel to run a decent defense. They ain't got to be elite. You know, I ain't saying they're going... From one of the worst to one of the best on some New York Knicks type stuff. But I'm excited to see it. My hopes are up. I love what I'm hearing right now. I really do. And I think there's opportunities for a lot of other guys who didn't get as many opportunity and as much love as they did in the past. Like last season. Garrison Matthews. Maybe he gets more shot opportunities. Denny, get the ball in his hands more. Rui, and you know, get matched up. Be able to be able to be schemed up and get mismatches. Try to scheme him into some mismatches, etc. You know? I would love to see it all. But what do you guys think? How do you guys feel about just anything? Expectations? How you feel? What, you, what do you want in the offseason? All that good stuff, you know? I like to see you guys in the comments section. If you want to support the videos, you beautiful people always know how to do that. Also, follow me on Twitch, Detox a lot. We be talking on there, we be chatting on there, talking Wizards, basketball, I play some games, we we'll do some highlight reactions, all of that nice stuff. You know, if you bored one day, come stop through. But that's all I got for y'all today. Take care. Peace.